very much. So I'm not, I'm not opposed to nice buildings. I'm not opposed to density. But I want it to be accessible and affordable for everybody regardless of income. It shouldn't just be for rich people. for ourselves, which is that uh, what, the, what the tenants are demanding, which is that cadence fulfill a responsibility, a moral responsibility to find the tenants, alternate accessible and uh, affordable homes in the neighborhood, that is not a small thing. If you look at the power imbalance between de big developers and ordinary people, the developers are not required, let's be very clear, that demand it is not legally enforceable at this moment. That is, that, that's what Reverend Jeffrey is saying, that the city council should make it legally enforceable. But at this moment, it's not. And it will be very difficult to win a law to, that is legally enforceable because it will take a real fighting movement to win that. So at this moment, the shadow tenants are showing tremendous courage by including this demand and not just saying, okay, I'll accept whatever little money I can get and I'll, whatever happens to me, happens to me. And they're standing together in demanding this. This is an incredible thing. Why? Because it goes to the heart of the business model of big developers. The business model of big developers is to demolish affordable homes and then place luxury homes in their, in that play, in their place. And as when I say luxury, it doesn't necessarily mean the units are luxurious. It just means the rents are so high that only rich people can afford them. So this is very, very, it's, it's, a, it's a crucial shift in our struggle that the shadow tenants are demanding this because it is going to the heart of the business model of the for-profit developers. And I say that both to give the tenants their credit, but also to emphasize how difficult it will be for them to win this demand, let alone make this city law. So let's not underestimate the struggle that we have ahead of us. And so those of you who have, been, who have come here in solidarity with the shadow tenants, in solidarity with everybody who's facing the housing crisis, please be aware that this is going to be a hard thing to win. It is going to be a fight. And for those who uh, have said or may think, why do we approach these issues with animosity? Why don't we talk nicely? First of all, I think we are all nice people because we stand with our neighbors, so that is a nice thing to do. However, I want to be very clear. It is not the tenants or those who are advocating for them who are engaging in animosity. The real animosity is having a system which dis, you know, just dispenses with ordinary people, uh, you know, completely discounts their humanity and says that this we should be able to do whatever we want to do in order to get our 25% profits. That's the real animosity. Today's meeting 
was a great step forward and I thank you all so much, you know, really for coming today because without you all there, there is no shadow of struggle, but it is hardly going to be enough. We have, we have, uh, with the courage of tenants and you all have, we have put cadence and the city's political establishment on notice, but putting them on notice is not going to be enough. We want to win concrete victories. We want to win. We're not here just to make public speeches and statements. We want to win real victories, which means affordable housing for them. So, uh, please, please expect, expect to hear from us in the next few days because we will need to do many more organizing actions. I also appeal to you all, those of you, whether you're a homeowner or a renter, if you're facing a struggle, if you're, if you're a renter in a building and your building is facing a similar struggle like Chateau or something else, if you, for example, if you've reached out to your landlord or property manager many times and asked them to fix the problems in your building and they haven't done that, please contact my office because we not only want to help you fix those problems, have those problems fixed, but we want to bring you into, you know, into, the, into part of the organizing because without uh, all of us getting organized, we are not going to win victory. So rather than uh, being individual struggles in individual buildings, let's bring all the buildings who are facing this crisis together. If you're winning, if you're living in uh, a single family home, but you and your roommates or housemates are renters and you're facing issues, still you should come to us and we should talk to each other. If you are a small landlord and you support renter struggles, because we've met several of them, please get in touch with my office because this movement is not in uh, antagonism towards landlords who support their renters. If you support, if you're a landlord and you support rent control, and I've heard from many of you, if you support the idea of building publicly owned affordable housing, then please contact my office so that we can continue building this struggle. And then the last point I'll make is in terms of what the obligation of my of my council office has said outlined, we will continue to be in touch with the city's office of housing, the city's department of construction inspections, uh, both to get information about cadence and uh, buildings and also to make sure that the problems that, the, that exist in their building are fixed. Like uh, Renee said, the lift is not working. There are little children, disabled people who walk on the stairs even though they need a lift because they have no other choice. So we want to make sure those problems are fixed immediately. And we will also be in touch with the Federal uh, Housing and Urban Development uh, Department uh, in a, and we are urging them to come to Seattle. They, they are, they are, um, you know, they are headquartered in Washington D.C. We are urging them to come to Seattle for a meeting. <laughs> that will not be an easy task because the Housing and Urban uh, Development Department today reports to Donald Trump, and not only has HUD faced decades of cuts for affordable housing, under Donald Trump, those cuts have been dramatic and HUD also suffered during the shutdown. So I don't know what results we, we will get, but we will continue to pressure HUD into meeting with us. Uh, but the more you all raise your voices and build a unified movement, the more it will enable me to actually succeed in that endeavor. And we will make sure that we keep following up with the tenants. And those of you who are renters and want to form a tenants union, please either contact my office or Violet or Amy from the tenants union Let's get this city organized. Let's win a real bill of renters' rights. Let's, let's push back against the economic redlining of black and brown people. Let's make this city an affordable city and let's win these individual struggles and also fight for rent control and for taxing big businesses like Amazon to fund a massive expansion of social housing, which is publicly owned affordable housing, so that we don't remain and our children don't remain at the whim of for-profit developers.